Hello and welcome to Henderson Today. Henderson State University is about to embark on its third pilgrimage to the Camino de Santiago, led by Spanish professor Mary Jane Dunn. This is what she has to say on the experience. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Dunn and I am a professor of Spanish here at Henderson State University and I've been here for 10 years. The pilgrimage, or the Camino de Santiago as it's commonly known, is actually a series of routes. It's, it's really more of an experience. There's a legend that says that St. James the Apostle preached in Spain and that then he went back to Jerusalem. Uh, he was beheaded by Herod, but his own disciples, his own followers, carried his body all the way back around to a town called Santiago de Compostela. People in the beginning in the 9th and 10th century started walking, because that was the only means of transportation, to make a pilgrimage to worship at his shrine, at his tomb. There's always been this sense of moving westward, traveling westward in Spain, in Europe in general, to get to this end of the earth, to get to Santiago de Compostela, which is just a few miles off the coast uh, of Spain in Galicia. We're going to leave from a little town called Chavez, Portugal, and we're going to go to Santiago de Compostela. It's about 170 miles that we're going to be walking. We'll walk that in 12 walking days. We'll take some extra day in a small town or a town called Urense to experience what's there in that town. And then we'll spend some time touring by bus in Galicia, go back to Madrid, and spend a few days there. So my goal with students is that I know that for many of them this may be the only chance that they ever have, or at least in the near future, to get to Europe. And I want to maximize every possible experience that they could have. So in general, I think that in this age of technology, and a, a much smaller, shrinking world because we have so much electronic contact with other people, it's really important to pull back and to reassert our own independence and our individuality and our own personal time to go away, to challenge ourselves physically and really I see it as a greater mental challenge for most, maybe not most, but for many students. The will that it takes and the grit that it takes to keep walking when you're tired and to, to not know and not really understand how far is 15 miles on foot? You know, how, how long is that gonna take me? Or what do I do if I just don't feel well? What, how do I, how do I, keep moving ahead. So it's a great insight into yourself, it's a great insight into how much you can both put up with and how much you can control your own feelings and your own destiny. So I, I was once asked, <laughs> you know, how did, did, did walking the Camino de Santiago change your life? And my answer was, how could it not? It, the Camino de Santiago changed my life completely. It set me on a new Camino. It sent me on a new course. It's a fresh coat of paint for an old game franchise. Here's Brett Thompson with more. The world of Pokemon adventured into new horizons on January 28th with the release of Pokemon Legends Arceus, the first title in the franchise to be considered a true open world role playing game while still maintaining the core turn-based battle gameplay the series has always been known for. The series is set in the primitive days of capturing and battling Pokemon, far before any other Pokemon title to date, and is exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. With unanswered questions on budget cuts and furloughs happening to Henderson, this is what Brayden Carmen found out. Henderson State University announced the first of its painful changes via Zoom call Thursday, February 3rd. Chancellor Chuck Ambrose said on the situation that these changes will need to be implemented immediately and they will be painful and impactful changes for our campus and the members within our learning community. 
Students have been able to feel the added tension in the classroom following the announcement as they are wondering what student life will be like going forward. Only time will tell what the future holds for the ready spirit. Thanks for watching Henderson TV. See you next time.